What's going on everybody? John McQueen here with another video log. It's been a while, been about two weeks or so since I've posted up a uh, vlog. Not my intentions. Uh, I've been wanting to get these up more frequently, especially on a weekly basis at the minimum. Um, things have been good as far as business-wise. It's been keeping me busy, which I'm not complaining, but as far as content and getting content out to you guys, it hasn't been on a frequent basis. That For that, I apologize, but going forward, we'll be doing my best to get out some new and fresh content for you guys going forward. Today I wanted to talk about um, kind of a new investment that I made um, from a lot of my peers, um, friends, all that kind of stuff, people in the fitness industry who've tried this before, tried this product before, and they say good things about it and um, said they, help, they say it helps them um, improve in their performance and it's supposed it's a, for me to just hear it, I want to do it myself, I want to see for myself, feel it for myself as far as what they're talking about. Um, so I decided to go with the investment, I decided to go um, and purchase the weightlifting shoe, the Adi Power uh, weightlifting shoe. Of course, uh, it's a little bit dirty, so I, I did wear these a few times. Of course, there's red on it, as if you know me, um, I'm a huge, my favorite color is red, so usually almost anything that I buy fitness related is red in color. So this is I, this is the investment I made. It's for a shoe, um, if you know anything about Jordans, it's essentially purchasing a pair of Jordans, or a little bit pricier than pur purchasing a pair of Jordans. So if that says anything, they are pricey. Um, go, you can go ahead and look, Google them, look them up. Um, so it's the Audi Power weightlifting shoe. Um, and they're equivalent to purchasing a pair of Jordan 11s, um, if you will. Um, if you're into that, I stopped buying Jordans when my daughter was born six and a half years ago. So now I just make investments into what's going to be functional, what I'm able to get some use out of. So I did decide to go with this one. Um, Reason being is a lot of people are saying, hey, you know, get the shoe or try it out. It's going to help. It helps improve your squats. It helps improve your deadlifts and squats as far as um, stability, as far as getting deeper in the squat, being more comfortable, so on and so forth. So reason why I invested into this is obviously I wanted to try it for myself, but um, it, it really see if it does uh, do what uh, people are saying, claiming that it does, as far as increasing strength, increasing uh, performance over time. Obviously, not immediately. Um, and I'll show you some videos right after this, uh, just to see my performances in these shoes, utilizing the shoes, so you can see kind of what I, what kind of exercise I was doing, and the kind of performances I had. Um, I'll tell you right now, as far as my feedback goes, I can. I do t I could do notice the difference because normally I just lift in chucks. Um, it's a flat sole. It's got some cushion, a little bit of give. Obviously, absolutely zero ankle support or stability in the foot area, but it's a very flat surface as far as stepping on, um, and that's what I traditionally lift in and work out in. With this shoe, as you notice, it is a flat sole. There is no arch or arc in the shoe. It's completely flat. Um, around this way it is completely flat so flat surface no arch and also if you notice here you have your midfoot to heel right there you have like the little little uh, slight incline or slight wedge from midfoot to heel so it is going to be angling your foot down just slightly um, just like a normal shoe if you will unlike chucks it's 100 flat like walk like you know just squatting barefoot with a little bit of cushion um but with that said, you do see the wedge. This from midfoot to heel, it's 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 not bendable. You can use as much force and strength as you want to to try to bend this material. It is just not going to bend. Um, you can give it a go if you do have these shoes or decide to go with the investment. It's not bending. It's not twisting. With that said, there is zero ability for your foot or heel, midfoot to heel, to really budge or move, okay? So it's, and it's also slightly heavy right here in the heel as well with this material. So essentially to me, um, one of my clients said it's like squatting in bricks or it's like lifting in bricks. And I would agree. Um, if your foot was tied to a brick 
and you can just imagine that it's a flat surface and it's weighing you down and you're lifting off a solid surface, all your force and drive from your heel and from your, from your lower body all the way through your core, through the bar, depending on if you're doing squats or whatever you're doing, it's like pushing through a, it's like an anchored surface, so it's anchoring your, anchoring your feet down and it's going to allow you to utilize a lot more force within your lift to perform. Um, and I definitely feel that. I feel like my heel is anchored down. I feel like my foot is anchored down. There is some give here in the toe, so the toe does bend. It allows you to walk around like a normal person in these shoes without the ability to really move or the mobility in the heel, midfoot to heel area. So, so I do agree with my client. It's like squatting in bri on bricks. Um, obviously, a little bit more comfortable <laughs> than bricks. Um, it's pretty cushy. It's got some good cushion in there. Um, they're fairly comfortable. Uh, they, they're interesting to walk in. It's definitely not a natural walk just because of the immobility here in the midfoot to heel and with this material. Um, but obviously you're allowed to walk around and be functional. Um, it's not like you're stepping, you know, walk around with bricks on your feet. So you, there is that functionality with the shoe, which is good. I like that. But as far as its purpose, it does weigh you down. It's flat on the bottom here, but does have that angle. Um, so it helps with squat depth. Um, as far as comfort goes, comfort in my squat stance. I've tried various stances from wide stance more into more narrowed stance. And I, I kind of liked all of them, really. Um, but I like, the, I like how it, it weighed my foot down. I like how it's very solid um, as far as the surface goes. And, um, as you'll see in the videos, I mean, other videos with me just squatting in chucks or deadlifting in chucks, you probably can't really tell the difference. Um, but there's a slight difference. There's a slight more, to me, it's just a little bit more comfort and it's a little bit more functionality, uh, with the shoe. Um, again, if you want to make the investment, go for it, try it out for yourself, see how you feel. But... If it's obviously something that you're really not really wanting to throw down the money for, by all means, not a big deal. Um, it's not like you're just going to be. It's not going to be increasing your gains or strength by tenfold, where you're going to be squatting and deadlifting through the roof. Uh, it. I mean, I don't feel like. I mean, I haven't worn these enough to really gauge my strength increases, so I can't say that these are going to get you stronger. As far as the functionality and your mobility in the shoe and how your feet are placed and what your feet feet are driving out and off of, I could see that being beneficial, and I could and that in turn will assist with greater performance in your lifts. With that said, again, I haven't used these enough. I haven't definitely haven't dug deep into my training program to really test my strength and really test the shoe with my strength to really give it a validation that it's going to definitely increase strength and improvement quickly. Um, obviously, I'm sure if you use these often with your lifts, and when I'm talking about lifting, I'm talking more about squats and deads, uh, lifts where you need to drive more with your feet, with your legs and your feet, um, which squats and deadlifts really do that. Um, so with that said, I would utilize the, the, this shoe for that. I definitely wouldn't be wearing these while I'm doing bicep curls. It makes absolutely zero sense. That would, you might look silly in the gym. Um, doesn't say you can't do it. People probably will and do. You never know. I might do it as a parody video, but, um, yeah, use it. Use, I would say suggest using it for squats and deads. If you, if you want to make the investment, um, try them out for yourself. If you feel that it is worth that investment and you just want to see if there's any, any difference in your lifts. Um, I like them. Um, I'm going to continue to keep using them with my squat and deadlift exercises and maybe some like RDLs, but, um, We'll see how it goes, and I'll keep you updated. And as I continue to make these vlogs and continue to post, you know, updated videos as far as my exercises and workouts, hopefully you see some difference in um, form, maybe some difference in strength gains. Um, again, only time will tell, and it's just a matter of giving this this investment, this shoe, enough time to give some validation of of their purpose and worth. Um, but that was my take. My client hit hit it right on the head. Um, with uh, 
how it feels. It feels like you're lifting, you're squatting or lifting off bricks, and the, the weight, so it's anchoring you down, and you're driving off a solid surface. So um, that said, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the exercise after this, and be sure to subscribe to all social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all the good stuff. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot.